Hello guys, welcome to Selenium CSS Selector Tutorial. In this tutorial series, we are going to learn about the Selenium CSS selectors and how you can identify the web elements on any web page that you are testing using Selenium and use the CSS selectors to uh, perform the actions on those web element. So in the Selenium automation, there are multiple uh, web element locator strategies and in the previous tutorial series which is the XPath um, tutorial series I had covered a lot more detail about how you can write your own complex XPath for the dynamic element using different uh, strategies so in this series as well I'll be covering completely about the CSS selector and how you can use CSS selector in your selenium automation so before we get started let's understand a basic about the css so what exactly is css so css stands for cascading style sheet and css is a style sheet language which is used to describe the presentation of any html document now to explain you about this style sheet language let me go to the w3schools.com and let's take an example from there so here on this particular tutorial you have the CSS code here okay let me click on try and you can see here so this bit here which says h1 and then curly brace start and defines the color and the text align so what this is basically the CSS code here which defines how this particular html page so this is the html doc the whole thing and then css is basically uh, embedded so basically the body what should be the background color you can see the background color is light blue if i change it to red and run it you can see the change the color got changed to red and then here you can see that h1 so any h1 tag in this particular html document will be uh, aligned text align is center so basically that's why this text is aligned in center and the color is white so that's what exactly is the css or cascading style sheet uh, 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 language so this is basically to show how the html document will be presented uh, to the end user so that's a bit of brief about the cascading style sheet or CSS now when it comes to CSS selector so CSS selectors basically utilized to find which element or which which location in that particular uh, HTML page the styling needs to be done so for example here you can see that it uh, selects the h1 so all h1 tag in this particular page if you define more h1 tags say for example if I define another h1 tag and just run it you will see that all the h1 tag that have, that will be defined in this particular page will be having the color white and the alignment will be center now if for example I want to only uh, update the first h1 or first heading in this particular page then is then that's where you will need the CSS selector to to basically identify which particular element on that web page you want to change right or which particular element you want to style uh, in in a specific way and that's the whole thing about the CSS selector so in selenium automation this CSS selector is important to pick the web element using the CSS selector on the web page and then perform actions on it so when we talk about CSS selector it is used to target the HTML elements on the web page so any element that you want to select on the web page you utilize CSS selector to locate that web element on the HTML document now the syntax is pretty simple so it starts with the tag name so for example your HTML uh, tag starts with tag input or h1 or paragraph is you just specify the tag and then square bracket the attribute name whatever attributes for example it is id or class or name you provide the attribute name if you're using name you just say name is equal to and the value of the name right so for example i, I want to select input whose id is equal to first name 
all right so you just write input whose id is equal to first name now in the css selector there are short forms that are available for id and class which we'll discuss in the next slide so this is the basic syntax so if you go to the uh, css selector select by id what this means is that if any web element has an id attribute then you can use the id attribute details in the css selector now in the id attribute the css selector is symbolized by the hash uh, sign so you don't specifically need to use this id is equal to first name you can simply say input hash the first name okay so you can say input hash and where hash represents the id and the first name whatever value is for that particular id now let's go to the salesforce developers page and try this css selector by id so here i am on the salesforce developer page and let me try to find out or write the css selector for this particular field which is the first name okay so i'll right click and click on inspect so this is basically the chrome browser and in the chrome browser there is built-in uh, functionality to inspect the web element and you can also directly go to that particular web element and just right click and copy the selector okay it will automatically give you the selector so if i copy the selector and go to command f so it will open this uh, search box here once you do command f, uh, command f on mac or control f in windows and if i paste this you can see that it already started with the hash and the first name so which which basically hashes symbolizes the id okay and the first name now say for example in in the example we have seen is basically to specify the tag name as well right so because this id or the first name is unique on this particular page uh, even though you don't specify the tag name it will still work but the best way is to provide the tag name and then hash and the value of the id okay so the first basic css selector that i discussed it starts with the tag name and then square braces if you're using any attributes for example id specify is equal to um the id and the value right so the value is first name just copy the first name here and provide the first name there okay and you can see that this particular web element has been highlighted and one of one is selected which is basically showing that there is only one web element on this particular page that is found with this css selector so this is the basic syntax but in case you are using just id you don't need these square break braces you can simply say the tag name hash which symbolizes id and then the first name the value of the id right so this is the value of the id so you just specify the first name first um, name or the value so that's how you will figure out the css selector for any web element using the id now with the basic css selector if you're not using id so for example i'm using uh, the class right or i want to use the name then i'll simply use the square brackets and then i'll say name is equal to and on this particular web element i'll just pick the value of the name and provide the value here right and here i have to put into single quotes here just to make sure it works right so here you can see that this particular web element with the attribute name and its value has been selected right so this is what the basic syntax is and that's what we had discussed in here right so attribute name whatever attribute you are selecting so i had selected name and then is equal to sign and then within the quotes the value of the attribute right now if i want to verify that this particular 
um, CSS selector works perfectly fine. Let me go to PyCharm and try to pass on some value into this particular CSS selector. So I'll copy this and go to PyCharm. And here I am opening the opening Salesforce developer page in Chrome browser. And then I want to try to put some value into the CSS selector, which I have uh, copied. So let me remove the second line here. Okay. So I'm inputting the value RCV Academy in this CSS selector. So this is the robot framework, which I'm just utilizing to show you that this particular selector works to input the value, right? If you want to learn more detail about the robot framework, there is another series that I have posted. Just go through that series to learn about the robot framework. So now if I want to run this particular web locators dot robot, it will open the Chrome browser open developers.salesforce.com it will maximize the browser window yep so it's opening salesforce.com it will maximize the window and then you can see typed in rcv academy in the name field and then closed the browser right so basically this proves that this css selector is working fine and it selected that particular web element and typed in the value let me minimize this so to summarize in this tutorial we have learned the basics of css and what css selector is and the very basic syntax of css selector then we have also learned about if you want to select the css uh, selector by id there is a symbol that is hash that you can utilize so you can simply say the tag name hash which represents the id and the value of that particular id so we can also say here if we want to symbolize uh, or select this name field with id we can simply say hash and then provide the value first name of that particular id okay so let's try using this and see that it works perfectly fine and gives us the same results so i have pasted that CSS selector and we'll run this code again and it should enter the same value RCV Academy into the first name field and at this time I have utilized the hash sign to identify the CSS selector so you can see that it has typed in RCV Academy in the name field and closed the browser so to summarize in this tutorial we have learned the basics of css selector and um, css and then we have also uh, learned how you can select or how you can create your own css selector using the very basic css selector formats so hope you like the tutorial thank you very much for watching